let's just see where it says it's going. Pedestrian area. Good, okay, that is the way we want to go. So I've just been a bit of a daredevil and climbed over the fence behind me because I want to show you guys what it looks like when you're, uh, woo, my shoe when you're right in the middle of it. So those are my three top favorite spots on this hike. Just letting you know in case you wanted to know. If you didn't, now you do. And then I can find it. My trusty, oh, that is not what you want. Look at the sheer slope of that. It's just like this. My hike to Wentworth Falls. So I'm doing the there we go. So I'm doing the Wentworth Falls track today. It's a beautiful trek, but because it's cloudy and rainy, I don't think you'll be able to see as much of the view as you would when it's sunny. So I'll insert some pictures in where on the spots where you would normally see like a huge like landscape of just beautiful stunning views. But today will probably just be very cloudy. But I thought I'd share the journey on the way anyway. I thought I'd share my hike with you guys because it's honestly one of my favorite, 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 favorite hikes to do. It's such, just such a beautiful spot to be, especially at the bottom with the huge waterfall. If you guys hike as well, please share with me some of your favorite hiking spots that you've been to. I might visit them one day. I'd love to go check out as many hiking places and nature spots as I can in my life would be awesome. So if you guys are into hiking as well, please share with me some cool spots that you go to, especially in Australia or in the New South Wales region. That way I can go very soon. But yeah, let's get started. So the first part of the trip was catching the train, as you can see, that's the station just there. So now I'm going to catch a bus. I'm just waiting for the bus to come. And it's gonna take me the second leg of the trip to where the hiking spot is. So I'm just waiting for that now. It'll only be a few minutes more, but then we'll be off again. So I've actually decided to go walk it instead. So I've got my Google Maps out to, to actually walk the trip because it's going to take 36 minutes for the, the next bus to come and it takes 33 minutes to walk it. So I'm just like, mm, I might just walk it instead. So I'm going to walk the trip there. So it won't take very long and it's such a beautiful area. I love the Blue Mountains. If you guys come to Australia or if you live in Australia and you come to Sydney, definitely check out the Blue Mountains because I highly rate them as one of my favorite places to go. It is so beautiful. And that cafe over there, the Fed Blue Mountains, just on the corner there, is actually my favorite place to visit in Wentworth Falls. So if you guys come up to the Blue Mountains and do a hike near Wentworth Falls, definitely check out that cafe. It has vegan gluten-free options as well, and their coffee is just, oh, like to die for. It's so nice. So I highly rate them. But yeah, now I'm just gonna walk for 33 minutes to the hiking track, and then from there, do the hike. <laughs> So the rain's coming down a little bit harder, but still only sprinkling, so that's all right. And even if a bucket, we're just gonna get wet anyway. It's like, oh well. And it'll be a nice refreshing cool down for when I'm hiking down the big steep stairs at the Wentworth Falls Trek. So that's gonna be nice. <laughs> I must say, one thing I'm regretting now is that I didn't bring long pants. So I was thinking, I'm contemplating it before I left to actually wear some long trackies, tights or leggings, has extra, <laughs> extra warmth. But then I was like, oh no, because I get really hot when I hike and I was like, oh, I'll be okay. And being me being me, I didn't even check the weather report to see if it was going to be cold or raining. It's been both, it's cold and raining now. Because <laughs> yesterday was total opposite. It was like 35 degrees and sunny. I was like, oh, it's too warm to hike. So I said, I'll go today. 
and today it's been much cooler so that's good it's just been raining so we're about 10 minutes in so we've got 20 minutes to go till we actually arrive at the shrek Not regretting not wearing long pants now. <laughs> Aren't these houses just amazing? This one is honestly like my dream house. Like with the huge garden out the back. One day I can have a house like that. <laughs> oh my gosh guys, there it is. Up ahead, yay! <laughs> Half an hour later, we got there. And I'm gonna get off the road now because I can hear the cars coming. <laughs> and I don't really want to get run over. We made it, woo! Here we are. Let's just see where it says it's going. Pedestrian area. Good, okay, that is the way we want to go. <laughs> so here we are, we've made it to the lookout point for all the walks. So this is at the very start. And you look out onto this beautiful valley with uh, mountains on either side, like I said earlier. So it's like this big dip and you can kind of see the mountain over there and there's like one on that side too, and some in the distance. So it's a shame that you guys can't see it today, but I will insert what the view looks like from a photo that I took on one of the previous walks that I've done of this hike. So that will be on the screen here. So you can sort of see what it would look like if it was super sunny and super clear. Either way, it's such a nice hike to do in rain, hail or shine. And in future videos, I'll share with you the other hikes that I do as well and some new hikes that I will be going on this year as well. So we actually walk down here into the very bottom of this waterfall. So we usually stand about there when you're doing the hike. So this is just from like a sort of drone view, <laughs> drone view of what the actual waterfall looks like. But when we see it, it'll be from the, actual, the very bottom. So you'll be looking up. So we're here on this big map right now. And we're just gonna, you used to be able to do a circuit and just come back around, but it's been closed off ever since there was this rock fall and someone actually got killed from it. So they've blocked that off now. So you can do another hiking trail, which I will do another day. But for now, I'm just going to do the one that goes all the way down to the bottom of the waterfall and then retrace my steps all the way back to the top again. So this is actually lookout number two. So you can also look out into the valley below as well. And as you can hear, maybe you can hear the sound of the waterfall in that, that direction. So it's just down that way. And here we are. So as you can see, just in the distance, you can actually walk along this cliffside to go down to the bottom of the waterfall. So this is from the top. We also go along the top of it just there too. So we'll be down at those rocks just there and the waterfall continues on down to the valley below. And here is another iconic view spot. It is so pretty. I will insert a picture of what it looks like when it's not cloudy. But I've come here a few times when it's quite misty like this and it's just got this beautiful eerie kind of feel to it. So I've just been a bit of a daredevil and climbed over the fence behind me because I want to show you guys what it looks like when you're, woo, she went, when you're right in the middle of it. All right, that's enough daredevilness for me. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Good thing my shoes are waterproof because they got super, super soaked. I just stepped in a massive puddle. <laughs> probably one of the top three spots the one back there was one this one's two and then when we're down the bottom of the waterfall that's number three so those are my three top favorite spots on this hike just letting you know in case you wanted to know if you didn't now you do <laughs>
I always think, imagine the people who had to build this. Take my hat off to them, it is probably one of the most scariest things to do. Getting louder, getting closer, here we are! I'm actually going to set myself up and have a snack that I bought and do my meditation. I was waiting, holding off to my meditation this morning to do it here because honestly, what better place to meditate than in nature, under a waterfall. Just wow. I reckon this looks like the perfect place to set up my snack and do my meditation. I'll show you guys what I bought. So if you guys might have seen on my Insta story that I posted a while back when I was doing this hike today, but when I post this video, it will be a while back. I was talking about what I packed for my hike. So I got my Hydro Flask stainless steel water bottle that I talked about in one of my previous reusables for video. I got my earphones for my meditation just down there. I brought a hat and sunnies, but I don't need it. And then if I can find it. My trusty, oh, that is not what you want. Shows that this bag needs a good clean out. So that is something I will be doing soon. At Broad Beach, we found this good foods mix, which is great for your gut. So I've been loving it. The best thing is, is that you activate it. So you activate all the seeds, which helps to basically deactivate any of the phytonutrients that can harm your digestive system. The reason why you call it activating it is because it activates the germination process in the seed so it kind of mimics that when you pour water over it and let it soak so i've packed in my little keep cup i've loved using my keep cup ever since i discovered the idea of putting ice cream in my keep cup so i actually put my good foods uh, mix in there it's like a little muesli so i activated it overnight and then i just mixed it in with some of that natural unsweetened coconut yogurt i'm actually going to start making my own again i was making it for a while there but i kind of got out of the habit so one of the goals for me this year is to actually get back into making my own coconut yogurt again sometimes when they use probiotics they can die during the transportation process or the process of making the yogurt so there's not as many of the bacteria in there whereas if you make it at home it's fresher and it doesn't go through the constant um, moving around as it would when it's being transported and things so it's more likely to have more bacteria that are alive to then enter your gut and keep it healthy and well. But yeah, I'm going to get stuck into my little snack here, have some of my water, and then do my meditation in this beautiful spot here. And then we're going to head back up again and we'll get go from there. And so begins the climb all the way back up. It's the climb. Yeah. Look at the sheer slope of that. It's just like this. <laughs> Woo! I've always loved doing that. Done. Finished. I honestly feel so revitalized after that. Puffed, yes. But revitalized, it was so therapeutic just sitting next to that waterfall, listening to it and just like soaking up that nature. It's so, so, oh, it's just what I needed. So unfortunately the cafe is closed. It closes at 4 p.m. and I thought I would get back in time when I realized how long I'd been down with a waterfall, but totally worth it. So I'm gonna catch the train back now. So this pretty much sums up the rest of my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go quickly cross the road. <laughs> it's been the most amazing day. I've had so much fun sharing this with you guys. Thank you so much for sticking out this whole video with me. And I hope to see you guys in future videos of mine. If you want to see more videos like this or vlogs like this, feel free to check out my playlist next to me, one of these sides. And enjoy, I hope to see you again in my future videos. Bye.